Welcome to a review of neogen filters and ampules used for membrane filtration. By the end of this video, you will know which ampule media to use for the isolation and quantification of different indicator organisms, which neogen filter color to use in your testing, how to correctly store your ampule media, and where to get additional information. A short self-check quiz follows the presentation. We encourage you to pause and review the video as needed prior to taking the quiz. Neogen offers both white and black membrane varieties for ease of reading results. Both colored membranes have a 0.45 micron pore size and are incorporated into units, sometimes referred to as monitors, with a 100 milliliter capacity. Neogen filter units are sterile, self-contained, and can quickly be converted into a petri dish for incubation. Filter units are single use and should be disposed of using proper biohazardous waste procedures after testing is complete. Filters are for use with clear beverages, rinses, environmental buffers, and water. They are not intended for use with products containing pulps, suspended particulates, gums, or food, as these products plug the pores and prevent filtration of the sample. Neogen recommends running non-selective testing, total count tests, on black neogen filters, and selective testing, tests with color reactions, on white neogen filters. Doing so helps you better visualize small or white colonies against a black background, and to better differentiate color reactions against a white background. However, neogen filters are interchangeable. Any ampule can be run on either color of membrane. Customers can choose their preference for each test. Samples containing more than 300 CFU are generally considered to be too numerous to count, or TNTC, due to the inability to differentiate between the high number of colonies that have grown on the filter surface. Neogen also offers ampule media specifically designed for use in membrane filtration testing with neogen filters. Product information sheets provide in-depth information about each ampule media. These sheets are also available on Neogen's website, from Neogen's technical service team, or your sales representative. Each sheet contains a product summary, media composition, physical characteristics, testing procedure, expected cultural responses, storage conditions, expiration, limitations of the procedure, and other useful information. M. Endo Ampule. Recommended by APHA and US EPA, this media is for the enumeration of coliforms. All red colonies with any amount of green metallic sheen should be counted and recorded as positive for coliforms. If there is a suspect red colony, the Petri dish monitor can be re-incubated for an additional 8 to 24 hours to see if a more defined sheen develops as it may be a slow lactose fermenting coliform. Pink or colorless colonies can be excluded as they are not coliforms. This media is selective. It contains agents that degrade quickly when exposed to light and heat. It is very important that the ampules are stored at two to eight degrees Celsius in the bag they arrive in. The natural aging process is very visible in this media, and it will change color throughout its shelf life. It starts off opalescent, light peach pink, with no precipitate, and becomes dark, opaque fuchsia with a heavy precipitate by the end. This natural process will not impact performance. However, if the ampules are not stored correctly, exposure to light and heat, even room temperature, can age the media prematurely and it may not remain stable enough to reach its expiration date. M. Green Yeast and Fungi Ampule. This media is for the detection of yeast and fungi. To interpret results for yeast and fungi, or mold, count all colonies. Mold appears fuzzy or sporulated. Yeast colonies appear cream-colored and opaque. Some wild types exist that could elaborate their own color for example, orange or pink. Some yeast colonies may develop a greenish hue if they absorb the dye from the medium. This non-selective medium 
relies on low pH to inhibit most bacteria. However, aciduric, acid-adapted bacteria that may be able to survive on the low pH can develop from frequent exposure to acidic environments. There are several ways to confirm the presence of yeast versus bacteria. Bacteria should not be included in your total yeast and mold count. Neogen's technical service team can help answer questions regarding this determination. Am I a broth ampule? This medium is for the enumeration of total coliform and E. coli. It is a U.S. EPA developed and approved water testing method. To interpret results for total coliform, count all fluorescing colonies regardless of colony color. For total E. coli, count all blue fluorescing colonies. It is selective and contains light and heat sensitive components. These ampules should be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius in the bag they are shipped in. Some non-coliform organisms may recover, but they will not fluoresce under UV long wave light exposure or develop a blue color. MTGE ampule. APHA and US EPA recommended media. Non-selective medium with neutral pH. Size, color, and morphology vary between organisms. To interpret results for total aerobic count, record all recovered colonies. Total aerobic count can have many other names. PRY broth ampule. This medium is for the detection of preservative resistant yeast such as Zygor Saccharomyces baileyi. To interpret results, count all white to off-white colonies that recover. This is a very low pH medium. The organisms that recover can be slow growing and may require up to three to seven days of incubation. Size and morphology may vary for colonies that recover. Colonies can be smooth or jagged looking. Orange Serum Broth Ampule. This medium is for the enumeration of aciduric microorganisms, such as leucanostoc, lactobacillus, and yeasts. A non-selective medium in which microorganisms, such as molds, can also grow. Molds can be easily identified by their fuzzy or cottony appearance. They may or may not contain powdery spores. To interpret results, count all colonies that recover. MFC Broth Ampule, APHA and EPA recommended medium. This medium is for the enumeration of fecal coliforms. Its ability to grow at 44.5 degrees Celsius differentiates it from other coliforms. A selective medium that should be stored in the bag it is shipped in. Other organisms and non-fecal coliforms may recover, but they will form reddish gray, gray or cream colored colonies. To interpret these results, count all dark blue colonies present after incubation. Pseudomonas broth ampule. This medium is for the enumeration of Pseudomonas aeruginosa species. This selective medium should be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Other organisms may recover, but not elaborate the blue-green color. They will be colorless to beige. Any beige colonies that recover and also fluoresce under long-wave UV light are presumptive positives for Pseudomonas fluorescens. To interpret results, count all green, blue-green, or blue colonies as Pseudomonas aeruginosa and confirm by checking colonies for fluorescence under long-wave UV light. Pseudomonas aeruginosa will fluoresce. To ensure all media performs until the expiration date, store all ampules at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius when not in use. Ampules should be removed from refrigeration about 30 minutes prior to use to bring them to room temperature. This helps prevent brittle ampules as well as cracking. Do not leave ampules out overnight or while not in use. Keep all light sensitive ampules inside the protective bags. Thank you for watching. Neogen's dedicated technical service team is available to assist you with any questions regarding the different products available for membrane filtration using Neogen filters and ampules.